Yo, what's good, YouTube and social media? So I have another video for you guys today on mast cell activation. I'm gonna go over histamine and mast cells. And so you can always take Zyrtec and try to downregulate it, which will help you greatly. But the problem is it doesn't really fix the underlying issue. We have to be a little, play a little bit of detective and figure out what is going on specifically with you as an individual. Because you can't just do this, you know, take a Zyrtec and think, oh, my problem's gone forever. I'm never gonna have to deal with it because then help you detox it didn't find out what genes are expressed so I'm all about solving the situation at hand and being a detective looking through labs looking at DNA finding out what's actually happening so what happens is is if you have increased histamine it's basically going to dilate your blood vessels which causes white blood cells to be released and creates inflammation so you gotta attack those foreign invaders and could be several reasons for this. So one could be HNMT. So you could have a gene expression in HNMT and you are not breaking down the excess amount of histamine that's being released. So that could be one problem. We got to look at your genes to see if that could be a possible issue. Uh, something could be causing a histamine reaction. So there's an allergy. It could be a xenoestrogen from plastic. It could be excess amount of protein. It could be a dairy with IGF-1. It could be an SLC2 gene expression that's allowing iron to build up and your body's feeding the bacteria and you're having overgrowth of poor bacteria. It could be MSG in food. It could even be folate. So even vegetables with folate, an excess amount of folate could increase glut or glutamate and that's excitatory to nerve tissue and can cause inflammation and activate mast cells. So that could be a thing. Um, you ever see the people with like uh, flushy faces, dry, dry skin? That's usually from excess histamine for some reason. So it could be from an excess amount of um, mold. It could be viruses, right? So there's a lot of things that could be going on that are causing this high amount of histamine. So, you know, if you have these, you know, symptoms that you get from this are leaky gut, you get autoimmune, you get headaches, you get anxiety. Um, you get um, hormone imbalance, you get fatigue, nausea, abdominal cramps, um, menstruation issues, hormonal imbalance like that. So all those things could be going on because you have a higher amount of histamine that your body is not getting rid of or because it's being stimulated by something increasing mTOR. And too much mTOR without enough autophagy, that clearing of the metabolic byproduct is what could be your issue. So I'll give you guys a quick fix for what you can do. and. That's, you could take nitric oxide, um, supplement something, but I wouldn't do L-arginine because it can be leading to problems and cause high peroxynitrate in some people. Um, citrulline will be a little bit safer. So you could take some citrulline to do that, that would help. And you could also take some vitamin D. And vitamin D will stimulate autophagy and help. But those are just two little things and we get really need to know what's really going on. So if you take those things and it's not helping your symptoms, then we gotta go through and we gotta play detective. We actually have to do the labs and you gotta invest in yourself, and we gotta look at your DNA and put the puzzle pieces together. We'll spend, you know, two or three hours going through everything. I'll get it all set up, and then, you know, we'll follow up, you know, in a couple months, two, three months, and see what's going and make the changes necessary so you don't have to deal with this anymore. And you, you so you are figure outable, you know, it's, it's not that you're not. So if you're not feeling well, please reach out. You can check me out at protouchrehab.com.